hematology topic and uh, you need to leave so that your body after that is not examined by forensic medical expert. Uh, uh, if take other situation, one must die of old age. Uh, so, my dear friends, thanatology, what is it, thanatology? Thanatology is study of uh, uh, that, that mechanism of that uh, uh, terminal state uh, and study all aspects of that. And the first information in our topic is these types of that. My dear friends, remember, that can be, yes, natural and unnatural. No problem, this is absolute correct information. But if a uh, take speed of dying, uh, that can be in this situation, can be as uh, acute and uh, organic death. And uh, as uh, acute as uh, organic death, can, uh, can be a natural or uh, maybe unnatural uh, death. And then, uh, my dear friends, why first type of death name acute? Because, because. In this situation, in this situation, uh, that's very, very quickly coming. Into few minutes, seconds, minutes, no maximum few hours. In case with organic death, that's coming very, very slow, very slow. Maybe a few days, maybe one week. Difficult uh, period. Uh, if take organic deaths, this is more difficult pathological state of organism. So, my dear friends, first stage uh, in case with biological death. Uh, first, this terminal state, terminal state, first step in case with biological death, this is terminal state. And my dear friends, attention please, terminal state, this intra vital period, intravital period. This period between life and death. In this period, in this state, organism not died. Look on this slide, terminal state. This may be, may be shock, three or four degree, coma, collapse, Mechanical asphyxia, different types of mechanical asphyxia, as a hanging, as a drowning, as a, a, a clench of thorax, and other types. And uh, my dear doctors, no state of organism after reanimation, this period named terminal state. I repeat, terminal state, this intra vital, intra vital period, which we like it between life and death. In this period, in this state, man or woman, your patient has not died. So, look, if take acute death, if take acute death, in case with acute death, distinguish four phases in terminal state. This pre phase, terminal pulse, clinical death, and biological death. And that's very, very quickly coming. And if take organic deaths, my dear friends, in this situation, look, distinguish fifth uh, uh, phases. First, pre agony phase, terminal pulse. Next, agony phase. As a result, this death name agony because present agony phase. Clinical deaths and biological deaths. And uh, deaths coming more slow. Uh, next. Next, my dear friends, on this slide, I give you very, very short main information with pathogenesis of terminal state. Full information, full theoretical material with terminal state present as a in textbook, as a in, I give uh, as this information in online lecture January. And uh, today I open a mixed learning for you, for your group uh, in a lecture in this program, uh, present full information with pathogenesis. Now I give you short inf main information. Not so, my dear friends, terminal state period between life and death. Why is formed a terminal state? Terminal is formed due to, first, 
pulmonary and cardiac insufficiency. Pulmonary and cardiac insufficiency, this complication, maybe this complication is formed due to, due to disease, chronic disease or acute disease, pulmonary and heart disease, and they may be due to trauma. Next, if in our organism is formed the uh, pulmonary and cardiac insufficiency, in organism is formed the hypoxia, circulatory hypoxia. And uh, remember, remember, uh, uh, more difficult uh, these processes are in the brain. Because due to hypoxia, with no period, our brain is, uh, is uh, dying. As a result, our organism, in case with uh, circulatory hypoxia, take all blood and this blood go to the brain. You can see sign, morphological sign, centralization of blood circulation. Why is this blood circulation name centralization? Because our brain, our, um, our brain, this central organ in our organism, the central nerve system. And, the, and the, I repeat, first three stage and terminal stage. First, pulmonary cardiac insufficiency, which is formed due to uh, pathology, due to trauma. Next, after insufficiency is formed hypoxia, due to hypoxia is formed centralization of blood circulation, and the, on periphery, on periphery, in hands, in lab, into liver, into kidney, into pancreas, you can see morphological sign, pathomorphological sign of disorder of blood circulation because, because all blood go to the brain due to hypoxia. As a result, in inner organs, in inner organs is formed dystrophy changes. Dystrophy, fat dystrophy. Parenchymatous dystrophy, as in kidney, in liver, in pancreas, in myocardium, and other organs. Next, next, remember, in noma, in travital, in travital, in our organism present aerobic glycolysis. In this situation, with difficult deep hypoxia, lack oxygen, and uh, increasing of carbonic acid into blood, you can see sign replacing aerobic glycolysis with anaerobic without oxygen. And in inner organs, in inner organs due to anaerobic glycolysis. Uh, uh, you can see increase in accumulation or concentration uh, lactic acid as in muscle tissue, as in inner organs. Next, next stay, uh, step in terminal state, uh, acidosis, acidosis with brain edema. Due to brain edema, and the disorder of blood circulation and centralization of blood circulation in blood vessels, you can see sign paresis and paralysis of blood vessels. Arterial pressure, if take clinical symptom, arterial pressure very, very critical decrease. And the, due to brain edema, is formed the paresis and paralysis respiratory and cardiac center, which locate into central nerve system. As a result, first stop respiratory function. After 30 minutes, you can see cardiac arrest, sign of cardiac arrest. Stop mm -hmm. cardiac activity. So, my dear friends, I repeat, Stay, uh, stage of uh, terminal state or steps. 
functional uh, uh, insufficiency, pulmonary and cardiac insufficiency. Hypoxia. Hypoxia is this pathological condition for our organism, a lack of this lack of oxygen and increasing concentration of carbonic acid into blood. Next, centralization of blood circulation. All blood go to the uh, head. Uh, if all blood go to the head on periphery, on periphery, in low and uh, upper extremity, you can see body temperature in hands, in legs go down. And in inner organs is formed dystrophy change, parenchymatose fat dystrophy. Aerobic glycolysis change into anaerobic glycolysis and into muscle tissue and in inner organs, you can see accumu rapid accumulation of uh, lactic acid. Next. Acidosis and the brain edema. Paresis and paralysis of blood vessels. And respiratory and cardiac arrest. Cardiac arrest. So continue, continue, my dear friends, continue. Wait one minute, wait one minute. First type of deaths, acute deaths. Uh, in this situation, you can see next as the external and the internal signs of death, acute death. Remember, in case with acute death, now I open the slide. In case with acute death, in terminal stay, terminal period, distinguish four phases, four phases. Uh, this pre-agony phase, terminal phase, clinical death, and biological death. And, the, and the, uh, that's very quickly coming. And the, my dear friends, you can see external and internal signs of uh, death. First, the cyanosis, uh, sorry, cyanosis of the face. Face and neck, skin of face and the neck have a very, very intense uh, uh, blue-violet color. Why? Help me, my dear doctors, what do you think? Why the skin of the face and the neck in case with acute death have a, a blue-violet color? Lack of blood supply. Present lack of oxygen, yes, decrease of concentration of oxygen and the, and the uh, increasing concentration of carbonic mm. acid. Yes, this hypoxia, remember, main mechanism in case this uh, terminal state, this hypoxia which is formed due to insufficiency, pulmonary and cardiac insufficiency. And into blood, very quickly, rapid accumulating, uh, accumulated uh, carbonic acid. And carbonic acid give blood very, very dark red color, almost blackish color. As a result, skin have a blue-violet color in case with acute death. Cyanosis. Next, ecchymosis, uh, which located under, under uh, conjunctiva and the petechias, which located into skin. The small, numerous, small punctuated hemorrhages. In under connectiva and eye and the into skin of face and the neck, petechias. Look, numerous small punctuated red color uh, hemorrhages. Next, large and the intense levomotis, dead spots are the name. You can see skin look with very, very intense blue-violet color. This absolute sign of that, only absolute sign of that, with large size, look all the face, and the surface of a body look with liver motives, this liver motives, large size, very intense, Rapid is formed, very quickly is formed this uh, sign in cases acute death. These spots you can see in case with acute death after 30 minutes in post-mortem period. Next, 
urinary and the uh, uh, fecal excretions, pyloma excretion due to a relaxation of sphincters in organism due to primary flaccidity. Uh, this first stage uh, in case of this cadaveric rigidity and uh, due to uh, um, that of the brain. That's a brain. Uh, next, next. In uh, respiratory tract mucus tunic with pink red color. And uh, in respiratory tract present mucus with pink red color too. This result of blood infiltration. Blood infiltration and remember, remember, in terminal state, due to hypoxia, which is formed due to insufficiency pulmonary and cardiac, is formed centralization of blood circulation. Uh, next, next, vena splitora. Vena splitora, my dear friends, inner organs have very, very dark red color, almost blackish color because in blood present very many carbonic acid, carbonic acid. Uh, so uh, next, next, this is uh, tardier spots. Tardier spots, this hemorrhage which locate under pleura and under pericardium, under pleura and under pericardium, tardier spots. <coughs> and then, uh, my dear friend, sorry, and there are in right part of the heart present many blood. In left part, blood is absent due to uh, cadaveric rigidity and uh, due to centralization of blood circulation in terminal state. In terminal state. So, if take acute death, you can see next as external and internal signs of death. This cyanosis of the face and the neck. Next, ecchymosis under conjunctiva and the into skin, petechias. Next, liver notice with a uh, uh, large size and very, very intense color, blue violet color. Uh, relaxation of sphincters, you can see urinary, fecal excretion and the uh, sperm excretion, vena splitora. Inner organs have very, very dark red color. Next, uh, in respiratory tract, mucus tunic with red uh, color. Uh, due to blood infiltration and the in respiratory tracts present mucus with pink red color. Under pleura and under pericardium is formed hemorrhages spot uh, as a spot. This spot's name tardier spots, tardier spots. Agonic deaths, agonic deaths. Skin is pale, small and pale dead spots. Uh, red and uh, white thrombi in blood vessels and inner organs is pale. Inner organs, in organs is pale, anemic. So, agonic deaths, my dear friends, remember, in case this agonic deaths, distinguished fifth phases into terminal state. First, pre-agony phase, terminal pause, agony phase, clinical deaths and biological deaths. And in this situation, deaths are more slow coming. Few days and a few, uh, few uh, maybe one week. And the skin is pale. In case with acute deaths, you can see cyanosis. Liver mortis or dead spots, small size and pale. In case with acute death, large and blue violet. In large blood vessels and in heart cavity, present thrombi as red as a yellow thrombi. And the inner organs is pale or anemic. In case with agonic death, you can see vena splitora and inner organs have very dark red color. Next, you can see uh, blood clots as a thrombi. 
thrombi. Uh, in cases agonic deaths, thrombi can be red and the white. Uh, if take uh, if take uh, if take red thrombi, sorry, if take red thrombi, uh, in this situation, agony phase is short, very very short. If uh, you can see in large blood vessels and the heart cavity thrombi with whitish yellow color, uh, in this uh, situation, agony phase was long time, long period. Uh, structural components of thrombi. Why uh, thrombi in case of short agony phase have red color? Because because you can see you can see fibrin fibers of fibrin uh, between these fibers like eight erythrocytes erythrocytes. Uh, as a result, thrombi have a red color. If uh, erythrocytes go outside, go into cavity, head cavity, into uh, blood ves uh, vessels cavity, you can see in thrombi only fibers of fibrin. As a result, thrombi have elastic, very elastic consistency and the white uh, and the yellow color, yellow color. So my dear friends, now I have in Zoom program only six minutes. Please now all together uh, exit and uh, wait one minute. One minute. Two groups of uh, signs of death, my dear friends. First, this probable signs <clears throat> of death and absolute signs of death. If take probable signs of death, why is this group name probable? Because, because you can see this sign as uh, in case with terminal state, as in case as that. As example, look in our uh, in our slide. Eyes are closed. Now I closed eyes. I uh, die. No, maybe sleep. Maybe maybe it's from coma. Maybe collapse. Maybe shock. Next, adenomia, passive position of the body. Maybe patient, your patient is asleep, maybe in coma, maybe in collapse, maybe is died, maybe. If present, maybe this sign probable because absolute sign you can see only after death, after death. And the next probable sign, pale skin, skin are pale. Now my skin is pale. Because uh, on the street a spring, da yeah, uh, with na a uh, vitaminosis. Next, and maybe a sign of anemia, no problem. Next, a reflexia. All reflex decreased, very, very critical decrease. Next, uh, no breathing and no pulse. This terminal state, because if take terminal state, first pregnant phase, uh, in this phase you can see increasing cardiac activity because in, in an organism is formed hypoxia. In clinic you can see a sign of tachycardia in first stay in phase of terminal state. Next, next. Uh, you can see a sign more of uh, hypoxia. Uh, tachycardia change into bradycardia. Heart very, very slow walk into terminal uh, pulse and the agony phase if take agony death. And in agony, uh, agony phase, agony phase, uh, bradycardia change with asystolia, short asystolia. Asystolia continue into few minutes, one to two minutes. Then uh, start, uh, work, uh, start cardiac activity and you can see a sign of bradycardia. So in agony phase, in terminal state, Cardiac activity change, bradycardia with asystolia. After asystolia, continue start bradycardia, bradycardia. As a result, in asystolia, pulse is absent, but your patient not died. 
uh, and they, my dear friends, if breathing is absent, stop breathing. Your patient not died because, because cardiac activity is stopped into uh, after 30, maximum 30 minutes after breathing stop. So you uh, uh, as a doctor for reanimation have maximum 30 minutes, 30 minutes. So my dear friends, next, absolute signs of death. In case with absolute signs of death, so distinguish two subgroups, early absolute signs of death and late absolute signs of death. If take early, <coughs> why is this group named early? Because this uh, sign is formed in first 48 hours, in first two days after that in post-mortem period. And uh, look, if take only absolute signs of that, this Bela Glazov sign, liver mortis, cadaveric rigidity, cooling, desiccation, and the uh, autolysis, autolysis. And uh, look, if take a Bela Glazov sign or cat's eye, due to squeezing eye between first and second fingers after that, you can see specific oval form of uh, pupil, oval form. And uh, this sign you can see <clears throat> after 10 to 15 minutes after death in post-mortem period. If present sign of a uh, cat's eye, post-mortem interval, not less 10 to 15 minutes. 10 to 15 minutes. Next. Next, liver mortis, liver mortis, or dead spots. Uh, in this situation, the main mechanism formation of the sign change color of the skin after that, uh, because, because, uh, no, first, first step in this mechanism, stop cardiac activity, stop cardiac function. Next, if stop cardiac, stop uh, blood circulation into blood vessels. And remember, my dear friends, blood is fluid, liquid fluid, which like it into cavity, into vessels. And after, after that, due to, uh, due to uh, false gravity, blood go into low parts of the body as a low, low extremities. If take a uh, hanging, maybe posterior surface of the body, if body like it in um, a horizontal position, maybe look, a uh, liver mortis like it in lateral surface of the body. So, uh, liver mortis, this result accumulation blood into um, blood vessels and into soft tissue uh, after that under a uh, false gravity. And uh, look, my dear friends, you can see general photo uh, with dead body of a woman. Look, you can see past the uh, pastoral surface and the skin have pale color, almost whitish color, white color. But uh, after change position on anterior surface of the body, you can see skin with blue violet color, with uh, spots of a large size, very intense. As a result, <clears throat> this woman is died because you can see liver mortis. Liver mortis is this only signs of death, absolute signs of death. The sign is formed only after death in postmortem period. Next, this woman is died very quickly due to acute death because liver mortis with large size and very intense. And uh, uh, this um, uh, woman is died due to asphyxial death. After, after death, the body like it in a horizontal position face down because liver mortis like it and anterior surface of the body.
So look, you can see woman uh, just died due to acute cardiac insufficiency, due to uh, myocardial infarction. And uh, look, in this situation, you can see liver mood is into face, look, and uh, in fingers of hands and uh, in low extremities, low extremities, intense, acute liver mood is. As a result, this woman uh, uh, quickly is died without agony phase in terminal period. And uh, my dear friends, after stop cardiac activity, uh, after stop uh, uh, blood circulation, blood in vessels go down in low parts of the body. Look, the skin diagram of the skin and look at uh, these uh, blood vessels which locate into soft tissue and into skin. After that, under force gravity, blood go uh, into low parts of the body. Next, if the compression of st uh, spots, uh, look uh, after compression on the, the face of liver mortis, uh, liver mortis change color, change color into white color or pink, a pale pink color. Why? Because due to a clench of soft tissue, uh, uh, is from clench of deformation of blood vessels, and uh, look, blood go uh, uh, above of the place of compression in blood vessels. After finish compression, look, go down, go down, come back, uh, as a result, a liver mortis change color and restored color due to uh, uh, pressure. No, uh, if take if take first stage in case with liver mortis, in liver mortis in case with liver mortis distinguish three stages: hypostasis, stasis, and imbibition. Imbibition. In hypostasis, blood uh, erythrocytes, blood cells, and the plasma locate in blood vessels, and blood have a liquid state. Consistence and uh, due to uh, pressure on the face of the liver mortis, liver mortis in first phase hypostasis uh, and change color into white color, quickly change and uh, after pressure quickly restored, quickly restored into uh, if uh, take first phase, restore it after one minute. Post mortem interval. <coughs> uh, Forensic medical extract, clench on the face and pressure on the face of liver mortis and uh, fixate time, restore. So if liver mortis restored in one minute, post-mortem interval, not more than eight hours. If liver mortis restored uh, five, six minutes, post-mortem interval, eight to 16 uh, hours. Stasis, if take stasis, stasis. First phase of that uh, sports liver mortis, they uh, uh, restored it uh, into 10 to 20 minutes. Post-mortem intervals uh, between 16 to 24 hours. And look, after pressure, liver mortis change color, slow change color into pale pink color and the slow restore. Why? Because in blood vessels, in stasis, in blood vessels, present uh, more blood cells. Plasma go outside into soft tissue, infiltrate soft tissue. As a result, as a result due to uh, pressure, liver mortis uh, change color into pale pink color. And uh, a slow restore first phase. 10 to 20 minutes, post-mortem interval 16, 24 hours. Second phase, restore it of 30 to 60 minutes, post-mortem interval 24 to 48 hours. Liver mortis, imbibition, imbibition. If in imbibition, a forensic medical expert clenches the face of liver mortis, liver mortis not change color. Why? Because as a name, phase of imbibition is blood infiltration of soft tissue. As a plasma, as a blood cells, 
go outside into soft tissue, into skin, into skin. All uh, elements of uh, um, blood ligate into, um, <clears throat> into skin and the soft tissue. As a result, after pressure, after pressure in inhibition, liver motors not change color. As a result, postmortem interval, postmortem interval, more than 48 hours. So I repeat, in case with liver motis, liver motis, main mechanism, stop cardiac activity, stop blood circulation, and uh, uh, force gravity, blood go down in low parts of the body and the accumulation into blood vessels in low parts of the body, into skin. And the, in case with liver motis, distinguish three stages, hypostasis, stasis, and imbibition. If take hypostasis, after, uh, after pressure, uh, liver motis have uh, acute white color and very quickly change color into white and restore it, quickly restore it. First phase, restore it of one minute, Postmodern interval not more than eight hours. Second phase, second phase, restore it into five to six minutes. Uh, Postmodern interval eight to sixteen hours. Stasis. First phase, restore it ten to twenty minutes. Postmodern interval sixteen to twenty four hours. Second phase. Restore it of 40 to 60 minutes, postmortem interval 24 to 48 hours. And the final stage, this imbibition, imbibition. Liver mood is not a change color because, because you can see sign uh, blood infiltration of soft tissue and the skin and skin. Postmortem interval in this situation, <clears throat> more than 48 hours. Uh, no, look, uh, as a, for me, interesting photo, look, you can see as a lateral surface and the posterior surface of the body, uh, liver mortis with large size. As a result, this man is died because liver mortis, this uh, that spot, this early absolute sign of death. Next, is this example with acute death because liver mortis have large size and very intense color. And then look, this hypostasis, because after pressure, mm -hmm. uh, liver motors have a, a white color and quickly restore it. In hypostasis, repeat, uh, first phase, postmortem interval, not more than eight hours. Second, uh, second phase, uh, uh, not less eight and not more than 16 hours. Look, interesting, large liver motis, liver motis are uh, dead spots. And uh, look, you can see imprint uh, of a uh, handy. Uh, no, this may be, may be uh, hypostasis and uh, maybe stasis. Look, uh, if under body like it, uh, uh, subject or object different, maybe hand, maybe uh, key, maybe other object, maybe folds of clothes, uh, you can see imprint because in this uh, place is formed the clench of skin with soft tissue and the blood vessels, blood vessels. So next, no, look, you can see interesting photo with imprint, with whitish color, this hypostasis. Next, only absolute sign of that is this cooling, cooling of sense uh, for examination a uh, cooling of the dead body. And remember, my dear friends, if take normal intravital temperature as a body temperature, rectal temperature, body temperature normal, normal, 36.6 body temperature. If take rectal temperature, rectal temperature, uh, intravitally normal, 37.7.7 rectal temperature. Temperature of liver, 
a more concrete answer, more concrete answer uh, with pulling and give um, rectal temperature, rectal temperature. Uh, and uh, my dear friends, main mechanism in case of cooling are not present very uh, present few theory. I think more simple for students. Uh, next uh, theory, theory, this um, cooling is formed due to uh, stop metabolism and the stop production, ATP production and energy production. After that, after that, body, uh, body deep energy, um, energy go on outside, energy uh, go только наружу, and the and the body and rectal temperature go down, decreased, decreased because absent ATP production and energy production, and our skin, our muscle tissue, our ligamentum. Uh, have function as a thermos, as a thermos. Uh, this lens uh, take uh, uh, internal body temperature after that. Uh, so my dear friends, if take cooling low, if take a normal room temperature, for Ukraine, this uh, uh, normal middle uh, room temperature, air temperature plus 18 degrees. If take air temperature plus uh, 18 uh, degree, body temperature or rectal temperature change in the first six hours after that, one degree to one hour, decrease one degree into one hour. As a result, if take, listen to me please, uh, if take intravitally uh, temperature, body temperature, 36.6, after that, in first six hours, after first six hours, body temperature will be 30.6 because body temperature decreased one degree into one hour. After six hours, after six hours, uh, cooling uh, will be uh, more slow. Body temperature go down one degree into two hours. And uh, listen to me, my dear friends, attention. After 24 to 36 hours, body temperature will be as a air temperature. If take plus 18, after 24 to 36 hours, body temperature will be plus 18. But after 24 to 36 hours, air temperature may be increased. Today plus 18, tomorrow at morning plus 20, 25, plus 30 degrees. Body temperature not change because metabolism is absent, ATP production is absent, energy production is absent. Stop. And the skin and the muscle tissue have function as a thermos. This less, this uh, skin and the muscle tissue and ligamentum and fat tissue take internal temperature as a plus 18, plus 18. If air temperature decreased, body temperature decreased too. But if uh, increase air temperature, body temperature, body temperature not increased. So, so my dear friends, next. Next information, cadaveric rigidity or rigor mortis. Uh, cadaveric rigidity, look, um, sta uh, start, start of uh, cadaveric rigidity information, you can see in terminal state, remember, in terminal state, aerobic glycolysis change with anaerobic glycolysis. And due to anaerobic glycolysis in our muscle tissue, in inner organs, uh, accumulation of lactic acid. Lactic acid. <clears throat> uh, after that, due to 
action of lactic acid, proteins which make it into muscle tissues as actin and myosin change into gel. And due to decrease of body temperature, this gel has very, very dense consistency. As a result, muscle tissue have very dense consistency and fixed position uh, of the body, hands, legs, uh, head after death. After death, look on this slide. You can see you can see cadaveric rigidity or rigor mortis in all group muscles in all body because look you can see fixation on the head and on the leg only. But body have horizontal position because uh, in muscle tissue, muscle tissue have very, very dense consistency due to change of actin and myosin into gel. And uh, my dear friends, if take cadaveric rigidity, in this situation, distinguish three stages primary flaccidity, next, cadaveric rigidity and the secondary flaccidity uh, or relaxation. So in first, in first 30 minutes after that, in muscle tissue is formed the primary flaccidity. And they remember, uh, you can see sign of urine, fecal, sperm excretion. Next, next, after 30, to 60 minutes, to 60 minutes uh, uh, or two hours uh, in a uh, mm, muzzle of the face is start of a cadaveric rigidity, cadaveric rigidity. And uh, my dear friends, uh, cadaveric rigidity is from the first phase, next go down, phase, neck, shoulder, Fingers of the hand, hands, next body, and legs. So, moderate expression of rigor mortis in all group muscles. In this situation, possible to bend the upper and lower extremities in the joint after 10 to 12, maximum 24 hours. Rigor mortis present in all group muscles. But but motion possible motion into uh, into upper and uh, bend on uh, the upper and lower extremities injured in postmortem period between ten to twenty four hours. Next next maximum maximum formation of rigor mortis in all muscle groups very very intense maximum intense. Uh, and the, in this situation, it is impossible to bend the upper and lower extremities in the joint. Uh, Post-mortem interval not less 24, but not more than 48. Why not more than 48? Because, because after 48 hours, uh, start the primary uh, si uh, signs of uh, secondary relaxation or secondary placidity. And the uh, secondary relaxation is start in muzzle of the face. Face, next, neck, shoulder, hands, body, and legs. And the complete relaxation in all group muscles, you can see after four, as a minimum, four to six days four to six days. Look, look, you can see moderate expression of rigor mortis in all group muscles. As a result, uh, post-mortem interval not less 10, but not more than 24 hours because possible to bend is the upper and lower extremities in joint. After, uh, after 24 hours, maximum 48 hours, you can see uh, muscle tissue with very, very dense consistency. Uh, this uh, post-mortem interval, I repeat, 24 to 48 hours. Look, body, uh, rigor motor fixed position of the body in lower and upper extremities, specific position. 
Desiccation, my dear friends, desiccation is the next, the only absolute sign of that. Uh, uh, this sign is formed due to water evaporation, surface of the uh, uh, mucus, tunic, eyes, and the skin. Uh, if our uh, eyes is open uh, after that, um, into five to six hours on the face of eyes, you can see uh, large spots, look large spots with dark brown color, uh, with dense uh, surface and the surface of large spots like it uh, below, uh, below uh, the uh, surface. Uh, so uh, next, uh, if take skin and uh, take uh, lips, you can see uh, you can see parchment spots. This spots desiccation spots too, uh, but in uh, eyes is this uh, spots name Larche, and uh, this spots is formed after four to six hours, and uh, uh, on the face of the skin and the uh, uh, lips between external and internal uh, surface of the lips. This uh, sign name parchment spots. Look, we have uh, a yellow. Uh, brownish color with uh, surface which like it below has the skin uh, <clears throat> and they are uh, with dense surface dense surface putrefaction uh, if take putrefaction so my dear friends look uh, come back uh, so 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 look uh, in case with absolute science of death which is formed only after that distinguish as the early and the late absolute sign of death. Uh, first abs late absolute sign of death is petrifaction. Petrifaction is formed, uh, external sign of petrifaction is formed after 48 hours into uh, in zone of uh, right iliac fossa. Uh, but internal, internal sign is formed in first uh, hours after death. Because the main mechanism in case with petrifaction is this increasing activity of uh, bacterial, which are like it, which live in our intestine, digestive system, as uh, in skin, as uh, in lung, uh, uh, and the, after that, all physical um, processes is stopped. As a result, as a result, you can see increasing activity of bacteria as aerobic and anaerobic. If in an uh, organism present many anaerobic bacteria present concentrated bad putrid smell um, of the body. If present more after that, more aerobic bacteria, this smell so, 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 so. So, smell, bad smell present after 20 to 30 hours. Next, external sign, my dear friends, external sign of petrifaction you can see after two to three days in the right iliac fossa. Uh, in this place, skin have greenish color, greenish color. And uh, look, internal sign, internal sign, I repeat, internal sign of putrefaction uh, is formed due to activity of bacteria and the look intestine have large size the after 10 to 12 hours due to gas accumulation to radiate gas accumulation into uh, into intestine gas is this result activity of bacteria uh, next next uh, in our table post mortem vomit Post vomit is formed due to emphysema, cadavric emphysema, corpse emphysema. Mm -hmm. uh, next, the putrefactive venous net, three to five days. Discourage anterior wall of abdominal cavity, four to five days. Next, cadaveric emphysema in all cavity, as a thorax cavity, as an abdominal cavity, uh, after uh, five to seven days. 
discoloration of the uh, body skin or skin at 12 to 14 days and the postmortem bubbles after two weeks, gigantic body two to three weeks, and the um, destroyed of soft tissue, and you can see after three to four uh, weeks. Now look, you can see uh, emphysema, cadaveric emphysema, because as a thorax cavity, as the abdominal cavity has large size, uh, and then you can see uh, vascular mesh or veins net. Uh, next, uh, um, bubbles stitch and uh, epidermis like it fluid with bad smell and the uh, uh, black color. Uh, next, gigantic body with postmortem vomit, postmortem bleeding due to emphysema and the look uh, after five to six months you can see a um, stage of uh, a, a skeletal skeletization yes uh, you can see bones uh, next cartilage ligamentum uh, nails teeth without soft tissue and without inner organs. And the one, uh, after one year, you can see only, only bones, uh, nails, uh, teeth, without cartilage tissue and without ligamentum and without soft tissue and inner organs. And the, uh, the uh, methods of determine a uh, postmortem interval. Now, first, my dear friends, stages of development of absolute early signs of death. This cat's eye, 10 to 15 minutes, liver mortis, uh, 30 to 2 hours, rigor mortis in first, six, uh, first uh, two hours, you can see a liver mortis, uh, uh, rigor mortis in muscle of the face. And the other. Next, uh, first uh, sign of the refraction you can see uh, after 48 hours, after two days in the right iliac fossa. Uh, next, state of uh, contents of stomach, supravital reaction, and the entoma fauna. Entoma fauna. So, my dear friends, first the practical class is finished today. Now I give you.